First up, uh, who has a question? Doug, uh, you made reference to not cutting any jobs at Toronto City Hall when you made the billion dollars in savings. Yeah. So are you going to not cut any jobs in the province and still save money? Yeah, we're, we're going to save money just like we did the, the no, city. Are you going to cut any jobs building. is the question. Are you no, gonna, I, are you? I, uh, no, I don't believe we need to cut any jobs. I don't believe in taking uh, food off people's uh, table. We're going to find efficiencies, drive efficiencies, and that's how we're going to save the money, just like we did in the city of Toronto. Now, given that a large percentage of the provincial budget is about paying salaries, how do you save money without cutting jobs? I don't get it. I know, because you've never done it before. I have. That's the difference. Thank you. Next question. Mr. Ford, you said that uh, Ontario needs tax incentives to attract businesses to come here. That's correct. And in just about the next breath, you said you're dead set against corporate welfare. That's Can right. you draw a distinction between tax well, it's incentives very, very and clear. corporate, corporate welfare? Corporate welfare is giving Bombardier a billion dollars. A few years later, another billion, another billion. I'm not, I'm, I don't believe in that. But giving a tax incentive is encouraging companies here and, and giving a tax incentive to open up in certain regions, if they, they're up north, I'd be more than happy. Procter & Gamble is leaving Brockville. If Procter & Gamble came up to me and said, what sort of taxes can we save? We'd come up with a great plan to keep Procter & Gamble up there. There's going to be 300 families without a job up there. That, that's huge. Absolutely huge. So just to be sure I understand, you would... If companies came to you and said, we're going to have to leave unless we get some sort of a tax cut, we, we, you would look at what could well, be done. Well, not only that, I want to attract new companies too. Do you, do you know what I love down in the U.S.? Do you see what's happening down there? They said manufacturing jobs will never come back. They're coming back by the droves now. They have the lowest unemployment. This is who we're competing against. They're giving tax incentives every single couple, every, every couple weeks from a certain state. I'll, I'll get a letter from the Chamber of Commerce, from the state itself saying, here, come to Texas. We'll help you, even with a building. We'll even help you hire people, as long as you come here and employ people. My point was, my friend, is we have to be business friendly here. We are not business friendly. We have layers and layers of red tape and bureaucracy that we have to cut. We have to get rid of. We have to make sure that businesses thrive in Ontario. We don't tax them to get at the death. And a lot of it, yes, I agree, is municipal taxes. Municipal, we got the highest hydro rates. We have this carbon tax that's done. So just look at the, the hydro rates and the carbon tax alone. They're job killers, absolute job killers. We're getting rid of the carbon tax for low and hydro rates. Next question, last question, anyone else? Hey, Doug. Uh, hey, just Dick. curious, in the Toronto or the GTA area in certain pockets, the Ford Nation brand is very strong, very powerful. I'm just curious, how does the Ford Nation brand resonate outside of the GTA based on your experience thus far? Well, good, good question, David. Uh, I'll tell you, it's, it's overwhelming. I said that before I went there. Before I even ran, I used to travel around Ontario. The rural areas it resonates a lot more than even the 416. Every single location we go to, standing room only. No, no, no matter if it's 7.30 in the morning in Peterborough, when we had a packed house, or London with standing room only, or Brockville, or Belleville, everywhere we're going, last night in Sudbury, we just drove all night from Sudbury, it was packed, packed. And the local organizers have said, Doug, we've had a lot of MPs, a lot of MPPs, a lot of leaders, no one has ever packed a room like this. But what's more, an int more interesting than that, David? What's more interesting are people coming up to me everywhere we go saying, I'm a lifelong NDP. I'm not joining the PC party to be a PC. I'm joining the party because of you. Every everywhere I go, I'm a lifelong liberal. I'm joining the party because of you. I've never voted before in my entire life. But you give us... You give us hope. You, you give us hope here in Ontario. This is going to be the first time I've ever voted. Interesting. And Doug, one other question. Um, if you prevail as leader, uh, you'll certainly be going up against the Win Liberals and the NDP. Um, but I'm curious what your strategy will be based on the experience of what your late brother went through as mayor of Toronto when dealing with the media party, if you will, um, the way your brother was treated by the media, I thought was, you know, off the scale, it was a new benchmark. 
what is your strategy because you know they will be coming for you? Well, David, I'm the only one that will stand up to the establishment. I'm the only one that will stand up to the elites, the political elites and the political insiders that have been raking the taxpayers over the coals for years. I'm the only one that will challenge the liberal media. And we know, and, not, and don't get me wrong, not all the media are bad media, but I will stand up to the liberal media that has dictated policies and influenced politicians for 60 years in this province, in the city. I will stand up to that. We aren't going to base policies on what the, the media says, especially the liberal media. We're going to make sure we have policies that are beneficial to all Ontario residents and what they want. It's going to be what they want, not what the media prints. But anyways, I appreciate everyone coming tonight, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank you. Hey folks, have you heard the news? The Rebel has a brand new app. Download that app and take the Rebel wherever you go.